so as you can see and I naturally walk at this time so I said I may as well get up I feel good I'm gonna get up and start some work before I meet Eva we're going for a see we're going for a gym session first and then we're going for a see soon so yeah I am gonna get some work done and get a head start to my day okay please ignore the state of my room and the light in my room because it's obviously half four in the morning so the light obviously isn't great but <laughs> this is my fit I'm wearing the Temple Seamless range. I'm wearing these leggings in a medium and I think the top is in a medium as well. I really, really like this sports bra. I think this is one of the power range sports bras. I really, really like it. So supportive. Um, and I love the detailing around the edging. It matches my leggings, so I really like that. But yeah, this is the fit. I can sum up personal responsibility in a single quote by Kobe Bryant. Booze don't block dummies. The most insidious thing about excuses, you have a valid reason to feel like a victim. Uh, guys, morning. we are in Le Hinch gym. He said we'd come for a session and then go for a season after. Oh my god, it's so nice, isn't it? So nice. Look how cute that is. Oh, so nice. It's so nice in here. It's so, so fun. We're trying to find the toilet so. Dry scoop up. Okay, always dry scoop if you want no, no, to take no, it for your workout. But like, take it for your workout and once you're mad. I wouldn't sleep for a week. Really? Yeah. Do you take half scoop though? Or full? <laughs> Lad, two I half. can't take two and a half. Two halves? Oh, I can't take pre workout. <laughs> I get so. Much anxiety, like I actually can't. Really? Yeah. It doesn't, I don't know, I think this one's out. You're? That's true. Yeah, you're a caffeine junkie, you are. Actually, it's very different. I used to take it and then I used to get like ridiculous anxiety from it. Yeah, honestly. So you're just so chill. It's so nice. It's 
bad, isn't it? It's so nice. There's loads of people in swimming, actually. Yeah, really? Yeah, one sec. Loads of people in. I don't want to record them, I don't want to record them. It's fun. It's windy. Windy, but it's fun. Yeah, it's lovely. Okay. It's so worth it. Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm trying to get better at, oh my god, my camera is literally going to die as well. Woo, love that for me. I'm trying to get better at vlogging um, and introducing my days because I realise that on every single vlog so far, I haven't even introduced the days. Like, I'm just taking out the camera, not saying what day it is, and just recording. So, today is Wednesday. Started the vlog yesterday. Um... Is today Wednesday? No, today is Thursday. Thursday. Oh my god, I started the vlog yesterday. So I started Wednesday. Um, what did I do yesterday? Oh yeah, I went for a sea swim and I tried to vlog it with Eva. We both went to the Hinch and you just can't see any of us. You can just see the sea, um, which is so funny, but it was actually so nice. Um, trying to make that like a weekly thing now. Me and Sarah are going to the gym. We're the training upper. No, this isn't your first time going to the gym, but it's yeah, like... It is. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah. I know, I brought you before years ago. I did, years ago in the Castle Oaks. I brought you to the gym and you couldn't walk for like days oh, after. Oh, yeah, um, so that one time. That one time. So I'm trying to get Sarah into the gym once a week. Sarah works like 12 hour shifts, so it's like so hard for her to get the gym in. But you do, so she went back swimming, didn't you? Yeah, I kind of like, I just go over there and again. Yeah, swimming, but... Um, in fairness, I have a lot of nurses as well that do coaching with me and they only train in the gym like two to three times a week just because it's so like taxing. But I'm just trying to get Sarah into it because... So here's just like anti-exercise. Not really, you did good. She We climbed my loss the other day. Yeah, you um, didn't literally carry me up it. Like. It's really hard though. If you know what my loss it's a hike, like it's really hard. So... She did that, but Sarah's problem is she doesn't eat enough. So, not out of like, she doesn't have like disordered eating or like anything like that, don't you not? No. Explain that. I just, it's because when it's in work, it's so hot and you're just smelling shit all day. She's in it, she works in there. Last thing you want to do is eat, like. Yeah, she just has no interest in food. Not like her sister, who was obsessed. Who doesn't excite me. Yeah, it just doesn't. So, imagine being that person. Um, like, I actually couldn't tell you the last time I had a dinner. Yeah, McDonald's yesterday with me. Yeah, but I didn't even finish it. Like, an actual dinner. Like, yeah. proper dinner. Guys, Sarah just has no interest in food. It's not that she has, like, anything wrong with her. It's just that she needs to exercise more to get more of an appetite to actually eat properly so do not do this like this is not good oh, this is not a good thing is it Sarah no. what's your energy levels like shit yeah her sleep her energy levels so she's always tired though. that's not a good diet okay so do not copy that which um, one's yours oh Sarah Sarah got my Americano and put a sugar in it and I hate sugar I thought it was mine and now you still don't know which one it is open up also, guys, I hate my side view. I hate my nose. I want to get a nose job so badly. This is yours. That's yours. Did you stop out of that? Yeah. Ew. Um, Shut up. But yeah, that's all. We will keep you updated. Let's get it. Woo. Hello everyone, happy Thursday, um, Thursday, no Friday, Friday, sorry, um, I keep getting my days mixed up because of the bank holiday weekend, um, because Monday basically felt like Sunday because it was a day off, um, and I actually give myself a day off as well, usually I don't do that because all my Monday check-ins are on a Monday, but um, I got all my Monday check-ins to check in on Saturday. Um, so I think everyone preferred that anyway because no one wants to check in on a Monday, a bank holiday Monday anyway. Um, but I'm just waiting to see Caitlin. I haven't seen her in so long, my friend Caitlin. Um, we actually met through our personal training course and we've been like best friends ever since. But I haven't seen her in so long. She moved to Abu Dhabi for a while. Um, so I literally haven't seen her, I'd say, since 
go at Christmas, I'd say, which is absolutely mad. Um, so I'm so excited to see her and we're going to La Hinch for the day. Um, you may tell from this vlog that I'm obsessed with La Hinch. I just love it down there. It's so nice. Um, the fresh sea air as well is so good for you and it's like literally only an hour away from me so yeah it's ideal um so i'm just waiting for her now um and i'm trying to think do i have any more updates my skin is getting so much better guys sorry for the close-up but um touch wood it's getting so much better um I've been doing, like I said, those chemical peels. Um, I've also been really, really looking after it. I actually need to go through my skin routine and show you what I use. Like, I'm really bad now with skin and stuff. And I don't really know what some of the stuff does. But um, basically, uh, Nikita from Therapy, who's also actually one of my clients, which is so cute. She recommended... She did out a skin routine for me, a skincare routine that I follow. It's very, very basic. Um, I also was taking Acumax, skin Acumax from therapy that really, really helped as well my, clear up my skin. Um, I was taking that since, I'm going to say September and I still do take it. Um, the girl said you just like wean yourself off of it. So I'm just going to take it for the next while just because... My skin is still clearing up, like I still have scars and stuff and the odd time I do get um, breakouts around my chin area that's obviously hormonal and stuff. Um, so I'm still taking it for a while and then it goes from like, I'm going from like four tablets down to two a day and then hopefully eventually by like September I'll be off it because um, this September I'll be on it like a year. So hopefully I'll be off it then but um yeah oh my god that was like a journey and a half with my skin um and before I got like acne I never ever minded my skin so I think it was like in a way a blessing in disguise because now I actually mind my skin actually on that note I have SPF that I use from therapy it's the matte oil matte oil free spf 30 day cream um, i'm also wearing the mac stack ew this close up mascara i absolutely love it um but yeah i really like this because i have really oily skin um i also have the brightening serum from um therapy as well um i don't know sorry guys i don't actually know what the brands are because I've been basically sampling all of these I've been sampling my skincare routine but now I need to go and buy all the products um especially before I go away I'm going to Greece on the 20th of June for a month well not a month three weeks um so I need to have all of my skincare in check before then I've already got my sun cream in that um well this is my face sun cream that i really like um but i get for my skin i get um p20 because i just it's like the best it says on all day long um also manifesting getting a tan this summer I'm sick of not tanning and having pale skin um i did get a bit of a color in tenerife last summer I was actually there for three months, like I would be worrying if I didn't. Um, but, um, what was I saying? I'm hoping that like I tan quicker this time around because obviously I was exposed to the sun all last summer and I've tried this summer to lie out every single minute there's a bit of sun. Uh, obviously with sun cream on. Um, but... Yeah, I've been trying to lie out and just worship the sun as much as possible um, so that I have like a bit of a base before going on holidays. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully your girl gets a colour because I just hate being pale. Like I can't embrace the pale. I wish I could be one of those girls. Like I look at some girls and they just stay pale and they look absolutely stunning. <sighs> I just can't. I think it's because I have such dark hair as well that like I look like someone that should be tanned. Like I remember in EOS a couple of years ago when I had fake tan on, all the Australians were like, "Oh my god, your tan is so nice!" Like they thought it was real, cause which is obviously a good thing. But like, cause my hair is so dark, they were like, "Oh my god, you have such a nice color skin tone." I was like, 
I think Sky's it was literally Bondi Sands. It was probably that's probably why they liked it because it was Bondi Sands Australian. And then someone caught me out because obviously Australians know what Bondi Sands smells like. And they were like, um someone was like, Oh my god, something smells like really like Bondi Sands and I was like <laughs> So they obviously knew. Okay, I'm gonna go. I might try film meeting Caitlin, but I don't know how I can unless I put like the camera on top of the car. Um, I probably would look so crazy. Anyways, I will bring you along on her day. Chat to you soon. Old school. <laughs> Lads, we've absolute cockers in here. Like. Oh, lads, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. We need to pee so bad, so we will be peeing inside That's the like ditch. The road. Yeah. Lads, we nearly got blown away, like, on this road. Cut through, yeah. Cut through, yeah, bah, huh? So lovely. Hey, guys. So I came home to a Cloud 10 Beauty um, package. Sorry, my voice is hoarse from talking all day. <laughs> um, but I'll just show you the bits I got. So I got the Ordinary. I love everything the Ordinary balance set. So it has... So I ordered this before and it was so fab. I got the Squalane, Squally cleanser. Sorry, my dad's in the background, so ignore that. He felt so loud. Um, salicylic acid, fab, love that. And the, I can never say this, my, my acetylamide. A sink, so good for like um, drying up your skin, especially if you have acne prone skin like me. And then I got this moisturizer, but I also got a big, bigger version of this because I read it like this. And I got the CeraVe one, love this. And I got this for contouring, LA Girl Pro Conceal or contour on my face for holidays. Then I got two ordinary foundations because they're literally only six euro. So I didn't know what shade to get, so I just got two shades. And then I got a cute foaming cleanser. So yeah. Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. I hope everyone is keeping well. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I just wanted to be off my phone and stuff, but basically I went to the K Club. Dara and I went to the K Club um in Kildare. Oh my god, it's unreal. It's like a five-star like 
hotel. It's, it's unreal. Sorry, I have warm water <coughs> warming up in the background. Um, just to wash my face, but um, I got a facial and my skin is glowing after it. Um, I got a vitamin C facial. It was so nice. We, I got it to, I got it for Dara for his birthday, um, but. We, we didn't stay over because he has training this morning um, and he's training all the time to be fair so um, it's kind of difficult to get away um, so I just said we'd do it for the day and it was actually lovely, it was so nice um, so highly would highly recommend the cake club, it was absolutely unreal um, it is expensive but it's worth it, um, definitely and then we got food after in like one of their restaurants. They have like four restaurants, like what the hell. Um, but the food was absolutely 11 out of 10. Like it was unreal. We both got chicken burgers. They were so nice. Um, but yeah, that was our little day yesterday. But I'm going to go through my skin routine. Um, well, I'm going to try to go through it on this um, today. So this is what I always use in the mornings. Um, this Epiclare foaming gel. Um, and I literally just put this on, it's La Roche-Posay. Um, and I use this and then I put on um, SPF. Sorry, I couldn't think of it. I make sure you always use like I know it's a, like stupid but a clean towel on your face. I don't know if that really obvious, I'd say it is, but um see when I I used to never care about my skin until it got bad. So like I wouldn't even use anything on my face, I just slap water on it. I was so careless about my skin. Um and I like slap loads of water on it and then just use any towel that was in the bathroom where my sister was like, Kate, that is disgusting. She was like, all the dirty hands are on that. And I was like, actually, yeah, ew. <laughs> I just hadn't even thought, like, do you know, I just come in, like, I wouldn't even be thinking about my skin, do you know what I mean? Use a clean towel. Um, I do think that that is very obvious and that I was just being ridiculous. And I wasn't doing that. I also need to get um, an electric toothbrush. ASAP. And sit for two. And sit for two. Inside leg flexion. Feel down, both push your head lower. Rounder, slow your eyes and then back to walk. Feel down now as you walk. Feel down, feel down and walk. Feel down, good. Get ready to go forward to track. Good. She didn't go tense for half as long that time. And round straight away. So that communication between your hands and the bit stays open through the transition. Feel down, both. You feel posh. You do with your head is down. Inside leg. And super well done. See the way there now, she's happily keeping her head there. We're not going to be at her as much. More willing now, isn't she? Yeah, definitely. And let's get ready to go forward to walk. So flexion. And, good. and flexion, get her in the jaw. Keep her looking towards the inside. Inside leg for rip head. Feel down to the outside ring. Good. Shoulders back and down. Well done. Good, and heel down on the inside, and feel down the outside, super, feel down the outside, left hand, good, get ready to go forward to walk, feel down now, keep around,
Really, really makes you keep waiting for a zero. Yeah. 